There is always a season in every man's life where God seems to be quiet. It feels as though he is distant. And at those times you feel dejected, confused, forsaken and abandoned. You do everything to make sense of the situation, but nothing works. You try to look for something, anyone to hold on to, just so that the moment of silence doesn't swallow you. Here is what you need to understand. God cannot leave you nor forsake you as long as you are his child. It has nothing to do with your sins, nor your shortcomings, the silence as you go through a state of examination. Remember when a student is writing an examination, the teacher is always silent. So don't confuse the silence of God for separation. He is with you and will always be with you. However, when God is silent, there are things that you must do. Number one, meditate on his word. Although God may seem silent regarding a specific request or petition, remember that he is in a constant state of communication with you. In fact, it is possible that you already have an answer from God. The Bible is full of specific answers about what is right and wrong as well as information about God's character and His intention for us as His children and His followers. So don't forget to dig into God's Word, His written communication to us, to find out what He has to say about the problems you are facing or the questions you are asking. As you read the Bible, Ask God to speak to you through the Holy Spirit who lives inside of you. Often, verses of Scripture can have new significance in light of current problems you are facing. God may be passing a message or teaching you a lesson through the verses of His Word, but you ignore it. In seasons of God's silence, you still need to meditate on His Word. Number two, acknowledge what He has done for you in the past. Hear what He said in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and he shall direct your paths. It means you should remember a time when you were faced with such a problem and it came through. He is saying you should remember when the road seemed closed and he still made a way for you. Remember the time he saved you from the ghastly accident when no one came for you. Remember when you were drowning in that depression and no one came to your rescue except him remember when he saved you from that embarrassing situation remember when he made you scale through that impossible situation that is what it means to acknowledge him in all your ways when you remind yourself of all these things he has done it will keep you stable and you will be rest assured that He is there for you and will also come through like He did before. Number 3. You need to trust Him. I know this is the most difficult time to even dare to trust in God. But then, that is exactly the definition of faith. It means trusting God when you don't understand. Trust Him when things seem not to be right all around you. Trust Him when everything seems to be falling apart. Trust Him when your child has fallen sick with no hope for a cure. Trust Him when you're sinking in the mire clay. 
trust Him when life seems unfair because faith is having absolute and complete trust in God that no matter what you may be going through, He is with you and He is working behind the scenes to make all things work together for your good. The Gospel of John tells a story about Jesus' friends, Lazarus, Mary and Martha. When Jesus found out that Lazarus was ill, rather than rush to Lazarus' house to heal him, he stayed where he was for two more days. And before Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus died. And that's in John chapter 11 verse 6. To Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, Jesus' silence could have been interpreted as neglect, that Jesus did not care about or want to help them. But in Jesus' silence, Mary and Martha still trusted God. Four days after he died, Lazarus was raised from the dead by Jesus, showing his resurrection power. What about Job? After Satan wrecked many havoc over his life, and even despite his wife telling him to curse God and die, he still trusted God. And when his friends tried to discourage him, he still didn't waver in faith. So you too need to trust God in his season of his silence. So don't be afraid anymore when God seems silent. He hasn't abandoned you. He is working behind the scenes on your behalf. So stay calm and be at peace. You are not going to die in that problem. God has not given up on you. Father, I thank you for reminding me that you will never leave me nor forsake me. And I thank you because you are working behind the scenes on my behalf, even though I may not see what you are doing now. Please help me to trust you completely in every area and aspect of my life. Thank you for watching. I believe this video has blessed you and you have connected with the prayer points. If you would like to share your comments about this topic, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.